the piggy flew up in the air. The man in brown seemed broad and brown, dickery dickery there. Oh, oh, hi everybody. I'm Miss Chris at Palm Harbor Library, here to tell you about the first week in July of our summer Tales and Tales. I know you guys have been loving the cake and make crafts, and that makes us happy. This week, we are down on the farm with some barnyard friends. All kinds of fun things for you to make. For those of you who love the scratch art, and I know there are a lot of you, scratch art farm animals are back. If you want a bit more of a challenge, there's this little owl that you can do in scratch art. You know, on the farm, the owls like to live up in the barn a lot of the times, and they up in the hayloft. And if you're a little older and really like a challenge, there is a needle craft yarn owl that you can make. Now I'll warn you, this one takes a little time. You might want to be familiar with using a sewing needle. You might not get it all done in one sitting, but it is a lot of fun and a good challenge craft one. And I also have a carousel horse. You might wonder why, but think. Maybe you've never lived on a farm, never visited a farm, but you still may have seen horses. Real horses live on farms a lot of the time. But if you like to go to amusement parks in the summer and do the carousel, you can always ride a beautiful horse there. And that's a little craft that you can make as well. But you know, we want you to do more than just craft all summer long. Of course, we want you to be reading. If you're in the summer reading club, keep working along guys. You know, the time to start turning your book logs in will be coming up toward the middle of July. So keep on the good work. And if you need some books to help you out, we've got some farm stories on the farm, lots of true stuff. What about uncommon farm animals? That's where this little honeybee comes in. Not all farm animals are the normal ones that you think of, like cows, pigs, and goats. This is my little friend, he's a goat. And you know what? He is the stuffy of the week that you could have a chance to win. Now, if you remember, the way you get a chance to win him, come into the library. When you're picking out your books this week, that's Barnyard Friends Week, pick a craft to take home. Take it, make it, and then show it off to us. Share what you made with us on social media, and you'll be entered in a chance to win this little goat as the stuffy of the week. He's a good friend. Would you like to know something weird but true about farm animals? Sure enough, pigs can get sunburned. Ouch! I know I get sunburned, but I didn't know pigs could. But sure enough, that's a weird fact, but it is true. Now, what about a true or false? Let me ask you this. A group of crows, which a lot of times on the farm you'll see them out in the field. A group of crows is called a flat of crows. Think that's what a bunch of them are called? True or false? Mm -hmm, that one is false. They're actually called a murder of crows, which is, whew, I don't know where they got that from, but that's the truth of what they're called. So come on down with us and have some fun on Barnyard Friends Week. See you later. Dickery, dickery, day. The piggy flew up in the air. Bye bye.